Hey everyone, this video is going to focus on learning about some basics in Jump. Specifically, we're going to be talking about copying and pasting data from an Excel table into Jump, also importing data um, from Excel, more specifically of a CSV file, into Jump, and then going over some basic descriptive summary statistics, histogram, and side-by-side -side box plots. So let's open up Jump. Um, also, I will be using a Mac. I do have some comments about a window, but I don't have all the answers because I don't use a Windows computer. But when you open up Jump, you'll have two panels, Recent File and Windows. Right now I don't have any recent files. I deleted them all to hopefully make it look like y'all's when you first open it, and then Windows. I have no... Uh, data tables or anything like that open. For some of you guys might not like this very bright screen, so in Mac, let me just teach you one way that you can make it a dark theme. So if you go to general, you can change your overall appearance in your entire Mac to dark. And now we have a more eye-friendly jump screen. Now back to our top first topic. So our first topic is going to be copying and pasting data from Excel into Jump. And in Jump, we first need to open a new data table, which is File, New, New Data Table. The hotkey in Mac is Command Enter. The hotkey in Windows should be Control Enter. So then we're going to come over here to our Mac, and we're going to or to Excel. We're going to control copy and then we're going to come back to jump and we're going to go to edit and paste with columns. The cool part about jump is when you paste your data back into it is it automatically assigns a data type for each of your columns. So paint is nominal and nominal has the icon of a red histogram and reflectivity is continuous, which is represented by a blue triangle. These match our intuition about these two uh, columns. So that's positive. There is one way you can go wrong with pasting in your data, and so, which is if you go to edit, first file, new, new data table, then we go to edit, paste, what you're going to see is that paint and reflectivity are actually put on your first row and then the two columns are categorical. And so you just want to be careful of whether you have columns or not and to remember that you want to do edit, paste with column names. Now let's get rid of this. Don't save. And then let's also get rid of this one. Don't save. Because what I'm going to teach you guys now is how to just import this directly. So I'm going to cancel out of Excel so you don't think I'm cheating. File, open, and then boom, it does it for you. So now that we have our data in our data table, typically researchers would like to do some pre-analysis which is getting the summary statistics and looking at the distribution of our variables. So what we can do is first let's look at just the distribution of reflectivity by using histograms and summary statistics. So how we do that is go to analyze, distribute, we're going to take reflectivity, drag and drop it, um, Let's say I made a mistake and I didn't want that. I can double click on it. Additionally, I can click here, click on the Y column, and it goes. Then press OK. So now what we have are our results of this, where we have a histogram, we have a box plot, we have our quantiles, and we have our summary statistics. Now, in Jump, there are these red arrows. And these red arrows mean they have more options. So we can customize our summary statistics if we decide to. But up here, 
especially with the graph, we can go to histogram options, and instead of having vertical, we can have horizontal, which in my opinion makes more sense. But again, there's a bunch of different options and display options to look through. Now another thing we might want to do is to take this graph and maybe put it into a word processor. So let's just bring up Word real quick. Get an empty doc. Now, an easy way to do this is to come to this button and press selection. And then you just kind of control, hold down and highlight, control copy. And then you come here, paste. Boom. You can also come up here and paste. Multiple ways to paste. I believe you guys know how to paste. You can also do it with the summary statistics or the quantile. Again, making sure that is the selection button is highlighted. You come down here, control copy, control paste. The one cool thing about control pasting rather than screenshotting is that I can sit here and change these numbers. Reduced and get rid of some of these decimals if I so choose to. Um, I will probably still be doing screenshots for notes just because it will give you the exact thing you're supposed to see. So now that we have we have a histogram of our reflectivity and we kind of see some summary statistics. Another useful tool, especially for us in this class, could be to look at the box plots and compare the paint one to paint two, paint three, paint four. And so how we're going to look at box plots, a little bit more sophisticated than just this one, is in jump, we're going to go to graph, graph builder, and we're going to take reflectivity and we're going to drag it to Y. Now, as an aside, if you've messed up, you can drag and it will whoosh it away. We can also click and then click the Y. Now, right here you're noticing that there's a little bit of a jitter and that's due to the jitter button. Right now it's on auto. You could have none. Jitters typically used so you can see these multi kind of multiple points right here. Now, to make it a box plot, we're going to go up to this button up here that says box plot, and we're going to click it, and we get a box plot. Something else um, you might see in research papers is the mean, because if we remember our knowledge about box plots, this line is the median, and maybe we want to also look at the mean. So to do that, you can right click, add points. So that just added our current points. We can right click again, go back to the points, and we can make it a summary statistic mean. And so now that dot is the mean of the data and you can relate it to the median. That's just an aside. Real goal was to get side by side so we can compare the paints. Again, you can drag, oops, drag and drop it on the X and we now have side by side box plots. Okay. Then you can press, this is exactly what I want, I can press done. Now, again, we can drag this or select it and paste it into our Word. So we're going to press our selection button, control, copy, get away from this table, control, paste, boom. And so this wraps up our kind of brief jump basic tutorial where we talked about getting data into our data tables through copying and pasting or importing and then simple ways to look at the descriptive statistics, histograms, and side-by-side -side box plots.